Welcome back to A Clean House with Muddy Boots. I'm Ashley and today's video is brought to you by Mother Nature. We've had some really cold weather here recently and it's kind of shown me that I am neither prepared or organized for the wintry weather and I've had organizing our front hall closet on my list of things to do for a while now and so I guess Mother Nature is just kind of forcing me to do it um, just so that I can have everything ready for the kids for when they go to school um, and also to see if I'm like missing anything and maybe I need to stock up on mitts or winter boots. I did a shoe declutter. I have a video posted about it, but I did it back in July. And so I went through all the shoes for the entire family for every season, every which way, any type, anything that went on our feet, I made sure that I got it all in a pile and I decluttered it. So I think we are good for boots, um, but I need to see what we've got for hats and mitts and also um, snowsuits. Yeah, definitely things that I need to tackle and get done in this video. I'm starting off by cleaning off a space where I can um, pile everything from the call closet on this table just so I have um, a bigger space to work with because as you'll see in a minute where my front hall closet is located is a very tight space so decluttering in that area just wouldn't be really great for being able to visualize and see everything I have as well as it would be hard to put on video so this is just easier and the dining room table needed to be cleared off anyway so at the end of the day work smarter not harder Guess it never hit you our conversation takes to paying it some interest from time to time inside all that greatness in all of your adventures you're all alone hold up hold up baby i can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different
So tell me someone else does this. If you're cleaning, let's say like you're downstairs, instead of constantly running upstairs, I just kind of pile whatever needs to go upstairs on the stairs and then I get take care of it in one fell swoop all at once rather than constantly going up and down, up and down. Does anyone else do that or are you more so you find something and you immediately have to put it back in its place? Because I feel like that also has benefits, but I, this system's just been working for me. So this is the front hall closet. This is what we're working with. You can't even really see everything that's in there because so much stuff is packed in there. And there's a lot of like summer things that I can now put away because we're not really in summer mode anymore. And then there's also some like random things I found from when we moved that really shouldn't be in here. So it definitely needed to be done. I also have the Halloween costumes that we recently picked up. I like having a lot of empty space in um, our front hall closet because that way when guests come over, we have a spot to put their coats as well. It's kind of the place that I hide Amazon packages. Um, I mean, it's not really hidden. My husband knows I put them there and the kids kind of know I put them there, but I don't really open the Amazon packages. So all they just know are there's packages and I order everything from Amazon from like toilet cleaner to toys. So no one really knows what, <laughs> what happens to be delivered when I get an Amazon package. Um, and I like to keep them on their toes that way. So, so here I am just kind of pulling everything out. I'm going to put it all on the dining room table. And once everything's there, then I'm going to get a good visual visualization of everything that I have to work with and the space. And also emptying out everything from the closet gives me a chance to go in and kind of give the floor a good vacuum and a good clean. Um, just so that's just not something I have to worry about later. I know that sometimes with front doors you get like ants and things that come in and sometimes they create a home in the closet because it's right next to the door. So being able to pull everything out just kind of gives me peace of mind that something's not um, creating a family in our closet. Find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm so just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss me Or would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight We could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me? So this is everything from the closet and then I'm just adding some stuff from my downstairs basement storage. I have like a pop-up closet down there that I use to store out of season um, coats and snowsuits as well as out of sizes because I mean I've got three boys ages nine, four, and two. So I mean hand-me-downs are key. Uh, I mean if they're in good condition. I mean my nine-year-old has been quite rough on some things so like I had to buy new boots for my two-year-old because the boots that I had in size eight just didn't make it down to him. Um, by the time it got through my nine-year-old and my four-year-old, they had to be thrown out and I had to invest in a new pair. But I do have like a little setup downstairs, which is nice. So I can like rotate those clothes out because like I said before, I do like having a lot of space in my front hall closet for uh, when guests come over and just it 
it makes it feel cleaner when it's not as like cluttered and jam-packed with things so yeah I did do that setup down in the basement and then I do have other bins where I have like a hand-me-down system and so I did a video about that maybe I'll do another video because it was uh, probably like last year I did that video um but I mean hand-me-downs are key but organized hand-me-downs work even better because it literally took me five minutes to go downstairs and pull the sizes that I needed to bring up that I could now stock in our closet once I decluttered everything. So I'm kind of just going through and pulling out the things that I know for sure we're keeping. Um, so I mean the snowsuits that are in the current sizes I know they're keeping. I have my own winter jacket, my husband's winter jacket, some boots that are in the sizes that they're currently, everyone's currently wearing. I'm just pulling that stuff out just so I can kind of see what's left over and whether or not I decide do I need to keep that in the front hall closet? Does it need to go somewhere else? Or can we get rid of it? Here I found three bins that have just a mishmash of hats, mitts, and scarves. So I'm going to organize those into those three piles. And then as I go through those piles, what I'm looking for are with gloves, especially any rips. Because if it's ripped, like my kid's hands are going to get wet and it's not going to be a fun time. So those are just an, an immediate toss. Is there an excessive wear? And then I try to think about whether or not my kids are actually going to wear them. So like right now, my four-year-old doesn't like gloves. He likes a mitt. He doesn't want his fingers separated. He wants just a mitt where his fingers are all together. So I don't necessarily need gloves in his size. But I, I did find some like brand new ones. So I'll keep them for my two-year-old when he gets into that size. And maybe he would want to wear gloves or mitts. And then same with like hats. So my husband and I really like Star Wars, but that doesn't necessarily mean that my four-year-old's going to want to wear Star Wars. So like right now my four-year-old's really into Pokemon, so he has a Pokemon toque that he really likes to wear. And then my oldest is into Fall Guys and Roblox, so he's not so much into the Mario Kart hats that we had for him and the Pokemon hats that we had for him. So I also take that into account. Like, are my kids actually going to wear this? Or am I just holding on to it and it's something that maybe they'll put on because I'm forced them to and then immediately take it off when they get to school. So it's not really serving the purpose of keeping them warm because they're just putting it on for me in the morning to satisfy me. But when they go to school, they're not actually wearing it because they don't want to wear it. They And I mean, I did that too when I was a kid. Your mom or dad hands you a sweater being like, wear this, it's cold. And then as soon as you get to school, you're like, I don't need a sweater. And you just shove it in your backpack. So I'm going to go through our like baseball hats, sport hats now. And like, I think we have a problem. We have so many hats of all these various sports teams and various like kid stuff, Roblox, Mario, a whole bunch of stuff. I, we don't necessarily want to get rid of all of them. Like I decluttered a couple of them of ones we just don't really use anymore, but I just, I can't find a good way to store them. Like, does anyone have any ideas of how you store these types of hats? Because right now I just kind of have them all piled up and then they just end up everywhere. I find hats all over the house and I just want to have like a nice way to store them that doesn't take up a whole bunch of space because I know there are ways that you can like give them their own individual box but we've got like 50 of them and I don't have a spot where I could put 50 boxes for all these hats and our coat rack like 
can't hold that many. I had them like lined up on a door, but they kept falling off because the door was always like opening and closing. And I don't really have a door that we don't open and close, if that make, makes sense. Like all of our doors, we all of our doors are functional. I just, I need, I need a way to store these hats. They are going to drive me crazy. So this is actually the next day and also a little insight into how my brain works. So this all started because I wanted to mop the floors. I had about an hour before I had to pick the boys up from school and so I always like mopping the floors when like no one's home so that I know that it's going to get a good chance to dry and no one's going to happen to like run across the room. So I had our dog in her crate for a little quiet time. We do that like every so often. Um, and so I knew that she wasn't going to be running around. So it was a perfect time to get the floors mopped. And as I was picking stuff up off the floor in order to uh, vacuum and then start the mopping, I noticed that on the couch, the like cover was pulled down. I mean, my kids like to jump on it and make forts, so not surprised. So I was like, oh, let me fix the cover so then I can, it, everything will be off the floor and like the cover won't be dragging on the floor and I can properly mop. So then I go to fix the cover and then I'm like, oh, wow, uh, this couch is really like has a lot of crumbs I should vacuum it and then I'm like oh let me pull it also away from the wall so I can pull the cover down the back side better and as I pull it away from the wall I'm like oh back here also needs to be vacuumed so then I grab the vacuum and I'm vacuuming along the back and then I'm vacuuming in the crevices of the couch and then I'm like oh I need to rotate the pillows because they'll they will be better if I rotate them they'll get evenly worn down or whatever and you won't get that like Homer Simpson little uh, indent that's permanently in the couch if you rotate your pillow. So then I'm like, okay, I'll do that. And then as I'm going through that, then I'm picking up other things and I'm just constant distraction, distraction. This all started, I just wanted to mop the floors and it turned into this huge thing. But follow me along on this day as I try to get to the end where I just want the floors mopped. I also wanted to add that Halloween's coming and we have various Halloween decorations throughout the house. So those cobwebs that are on that red bus picture are fake. Those aren't actual real cobwebs. Um, it's just hard to tell from this picture. So I was like, oh, I better I better mention that. I, I liked to put up Halloween decorations um, on the pictures as well as you would have seen earlier uh, when I was doing the front hall closet that we had like caution tape on the closet. That's just all part of our Halloween house decor. Yes, 
I'm just too scared to settle down There'd be many nights I got too high And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared And lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Yet another distraction of finding a lovely piece of art on the wall. But as I finally finish mopping the floors, that will bring us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today as I prepare for winter. Oh, I can't even believe I'm saying that. I feel like summer went by so fast. But preparing for those cold temperatures. But, I mean, with winter comes Christmas, which is part of my favorite time of year. So I'm excited about that. But yes, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate all the support and love meeting new people within this community. If you are new, I do invite you to like this video down below and subscribe to my channel. I put out videos full of cleaning motivation, organizing, and decluttering. I hope everyone has a great weekend and until next time, bye!